My subject matter stems from my life. It's what I know, and so I paint what I know. And I'm biracial. I was born in Houston, Texas in 1960 at a time when racial unrest was a very big thing. So being white and Mexican has been a quiet uneasiness. So I paint about that, but I also paint about the other aspects of me. And I would say that my art in general sums up the parts of me. I, it is the sum of all parts of me. But these pieces that I did specifically that are in the show are about being biracial and what it is like to live between two cultures. I came to the decision to start painting that subject matter in 2017, I would say. Just tired of trying to paint pretty pictures to please everybody else. And that's been a theme throughout as being a person between races. You never please one side or the other, which is why I painted La Luchadora. That painting represents the struggle within. Things are supposed to be nice and neat and tidy on the outside, which at the top level of that painting, the surface is still and the figure, which is me, is nice and calm and wearing the little frilly hat that the, the old bathers used to wear, although it's not really an old bather's cap. And, but below is the struggle between the two cultures. I'm too much of one, not enough of the other, and it just flips. So they're all parts of who I am. It's the sum of the parts of me. The next Distinguished Award for Representational Art goes to Teresa Hill, La Luchadora. Our venture has been fun. It was interesting to come to experience my work in a group setting and to watch the faces and emotions that would go across those faces as they viewed my work and the work of others. Congratulations, Teresa Hill. Two things went through my mind when I won the award for representational art. First, yay, <laughs> I can use that little bit of cash to add to my studio. Also, it felt good to be seen so that my work gets out there and generates the questions. So I was excited, very excited. I want to be that La Luchadora that fights for Lucha Libre, which is freedom to be who you are, as you are, and not get flack back from, from being that. So I'll continue to paint honestly what I see, what I feel, so that hopefully the feedback will come back that way and it'll continue to generate discussion and hopefully change in our world.